Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to be talking about Cascador. Now Cascador is an animation program, I first started covering this one back when it went into open beta in 2020, and the reason why we're looking at it today is because Cascador just shipped. So the 1.0 release is out there, and good news is, it's free-ish. Asterisk. We'll get back to that in just a sec, but there is a perfectly viable free tier to go ahead and check out. What you see in front of you, this is Cascadour running. There is a bunch of stuff that Cascadour does for you. Basically, uh, it makes animation easier, from rigging to physics to uh, auto pose, which is kind of a, a machine learning driven animation secondary system. Uh, so it just kind of makes your life easier as an animator. And then ultimately, it supports the rigs from a number of different tools out there uh, and can export as FBX or DAE, so you can use it in your game engine of choice. Here you can see an animation going on uh, with a bit of uh, physics going on here, and also we have the auto pose functionality, uh, which is available down here. And what you can do basically is just grab a control point. Now, notice when I move his foot, it reacts to the entire rest of the model, so it, it knows how. To make this happen, see what it does for this character? So it's using machine learning to do all of the secondary animations. So you just work in uh, IK or FK, which you can switch between uh, with a key press. And it just kind of, the auto pose does the magic for you. So if you aren't the greatest animator in the world, all you need to do is set up your uh, rig like this, uh, get your animation going, and then with this fine-tuned tweaking, it makes the secondary animations, all the stuff that makes animation look good, well, it does it for you. Uh, so that is what Cascadour is all about. Now, there's a bunch more to it as well. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail with this hands-on, but you've got things like um, you can automatically loop frames. Uh, you can do things like auto-rigging. So where, here we come in, we'll see the rigging tools that are available, you've got a number of different options here, but there's also this really easy rig mode with quick rigging, and literally you just sort of um, paste the bone where you want it to be. So basically if I want the arm, I drag the arm to the arm location, it corresponds to the model, and you can set up a rig in literally seconds. So if you have a model that is not rigged, uh, Cascadura can take it and basically do that stuff for you. On top of that, uh, there's physics simulation in the world, so it can automatically handle, you can turn on auto physics and have it handle things like uh, gravity uh, and so on. You've got things like animation ghosting, uh, you can play in slow motion, you can import secondary scenes. There is a ton that you can do in Cascadour. So let's go jump over and take a look at the website itself. It is available at cascadour.com. Um, you can see here a bit of the detail there. Their sales pitch after mine's done here. Uh, we've got easy rigging set up here, uh, easy to pose with artificial intelligence. So that's the auto posing stuff I talked about earlier on. So you see here, it's just handling the secondary movements for you. Uh, so, uh, even, so even when you're just moving this guy's hand, you'll notice his other shoulders even moving as a result. Uh, probably the biggest one there. Uh, you do have physics um auto physics tools in there for using real world physics for your characters, uh, secondary motion, uh, full range of animation tools are in there. So it is a full blown animation tool. Now, the reason why we we're talking about it today is because Cascador 1.0 is finally here. This is the full on release. So December the 14th, 2020, uh, it is now available for download. Cascador is available for Windows and Linux. There is a Mac version in development, no timeline on that actually being released. Uh, you can watch this little five minute demo kind of shows you uh, the various different things that Cascadura is capable of, uh, what it brings to the table. So if you're kind of wondering, okay, well, why would I use this? Uh, you're probably number one place to start off is here uh, with the uh, product demo. This five minute video kind of walks through all the various different features of Cascadura, uh, the various different rigs you can set up, how they work. Um, the auto physics functionality, uh, and so on. So this basically, if you are not the world's greatest animator, uh, this is probably a tool you may want to consider adding to your tool set. Uh, if you are a good animator, hopefully this is just additional tools that will be useful to you. Uh, for most users, the entry into the world of AI supported physically accurate keyframe animation is completely free. So individuals and indie developers with low sales revenue can simply download Cascadour Basic Comprehensive Character Animation Package directly from Cascadour.com. Larger teams on the other hand, come subscribe to Cascadeer Pro uh, to gain access to additional functions, unlimited commercial use, and responsive user support starting at $25 a month. For a pro tool, that is actually very reasonable pricing. It's unfortunate that it is subscription-based pricing. I don't see any flat rate pricing at this point in time. Um, 
This is also an update over early access version. So there are some new features in functionality in the official release version. Uh, they optimize user interface for easier and faster workflow. They improved auto posing with new spline controls and better overall behavior, uh, overall better behavior. Auto physics now shows more realistic results in animations without jumps, angular momentum, smoothness, uh, completely reworked, revised uh, user experience logic for auto physics and many other improvements across the board, including better clamped interpolation and weapon slots in the quick rigging tool. So if you're creating a swords person and you want to bring in a sword, uh, you are good to go. Now, if you really want to, uh, you can check out the, um, the full release notes available here, uh, all of the details of everything that is in this release. But uh, we got the TLDR different version. Uh, the hardware configuration isn't really that hard, by the way. The team will also start developing a Mac version soon. Now, the wording there, start developing. Uh, I think that your, um, your specific release date is going to be a while out. But then again, if they got it running on Windows and Linux at this point in time, their code base is pretty cross-platform, so it shouldn't be too, too hard. They're also working on, um, for Cascador 2023, uh, the almost finished hand auto posing tool is in there. Further um, improvements to auto posing and auto physics are on the to-do list. Uh, more interaction of characters with the environment, convenient control picker, and in the medium term, a pose library. So that's what you can look forward to in future releases of Cascadeur. So if you're interested in picking this one up, well, if you're going to buy it, you can get a 25% discount until December the 31st. So for the rest of this year, uh, you can save money on all of the various different plans. Uh, otherwise, you can actually get basic completely free. So what is the gotcha or the asterisk or anything else uh, under 100k revenue per year? So if you make less than $100,000 uh, per year, you get this completely for free, which is pretty sweet. We'll look at what you don't get in just a second, but it's actually very reasonable. Uh, and then if you make more than that money, oh, okay, something good here. If you make more than that money, uh, amount of money, if you make more than 100K, you're gonna have to pay 225. Uh, for teams and companies who need personal support, you're gonna pay 750 or 1,000 after this is done. Now, interestingly here, this is per user per year, uh, you pay 225 once a year uh, as the total, uh, and it turns into a perpetual license after one year. So it actually is like previous ways of, you know, when you actually bought your software as opposed to subscribing to your software. So I'm happy to see that. Perpetual licenses are uh, the nicest compromise when it comes to subscription. It means you're not going to get updates anymore once you stop paying, uh, but it doesn't mean you, after you've paid for at least one year, you can just keep using the software permanently, just frozen in time at that release you were at. So in terms of the features and functions, the free version, well, first off, again, less than 100K revenue. Uh, you get all the animation tools. You have a maximum of 300 frames and 120 joint limits. So that's going to somewhat limit the length of your animations there. Um, you get normal support and you have to give credit for using Cascador in your game credits or your project credits. Uh, if you move up to that paid version of 225 a year or 300 after the end of this year, you get everything there plus unlimited exports, priority support, screen linking tool, and unlimited commercial use. So the scene linking tool is literally the only uh, feature that's missing from the free version other than this 300 frame and 120 joint limit per project. By the way, you could make multiple projects. So that would just, this would more be a structural limit than anything else. So you couldn't do a walk cycle, run cycle, jump cycle, and all those things in one big project. But I could theoretically think how you could split that out into a bunch of different ones and export them separately. Uh, but here you can get around that. Also, you have support for scene linking. Uh, and then you jump up to the business tier, you're getting everything. And then you're basically, you're just paying for, um, you know, better access to the developers, better access to the support team and so on. So a uh, very reasonable pricing, in my opinion. I do like this uh, perpetual licensing that makes subscriptions much less crap. Now, interestingly enough, there is a monthly payment option, uh, but I can't select it. So maybe there isn't a monthly payment option. I'm not sure. Uh, but that is the uh, the different versions. The free, the free, uh, I can't speak. The free plan is very fair, in my humble opinion. Uh, I, I think that's a good compromise. Let me know what you think of their licensing in general. Licensing is always one of those things that people have different opinions on, but it's a tool I highly recommend you check out if you're an animator, Cascador. So that's C-A-S-C-A-D. E U R dot com. Uh, every time I do a video on it, someone tells me what it means in French. It's something like acrobat or circus or something to that effect. I don't remember. Uh, but someone will point that out again in this video as well. So that's Cascadour. Have you checked it out? Are you going to check it out? And congratulations, Cascadour team, on the release. Looking good. All right, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.